when you're here, you want to cut off all your concerns with the world outside. There was a woman who came to the monastery one time years back, when John Fuang was alive. And she was planning to stay for two weeks, and after the second day she said, I've got to go home. And he said, why? He said, well, I'm worried about my husband, worried about my children, that they won't be able to get along without me. And he said, you know, if you died, they'd have to get along without you. So just tell yourself, while you're here, you've died. The world outside will have to get along by itself. And this way you can give your mind a chance to have its own space and to see what develops when it has that space. If it's constantly being intruded on, it never gets a chance to develop properly. So all your concerns outside, all your interests outside, you have to put them aside. Just tell yourself you've died temporarily. You'll recover. But in the meantime, you don't have to have any concerns outside at all, any interests outside. Try to be concerned about the state of your own mind, because that's really important. It gets shredded up by the, the world. All these sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, all these things are coming in and bombarding it all the time. And whatever sense of peace or well-being the mind could have, if you let yourself be open to those things and you go running out after them, they're going to tear you up. So you have to have a space inside where it's, okay, none of that stuff has any interest or any importance at all. What's important is the sense of stability you have inside here. Because it's only then that you can learn how to rely on your own mind. Because otherwise it's constantly dependent on things outside. When things outside change, who knows what's going to happen. But it has a good, solid base inside. Okay, Whatever happens outside, you know that your actions and your words and your deeds are going to be reliable. That way you can be a trustworthy person for yourself and for others. If you don't have this inner center, as I say in Thai, your, your goodness breaks down. You get strung out to the point where it just can't do good anymore. So you need the refreshment, you need the, the charge that comes from letting your battery charge for a long time without interruption. So keep your outside concerns to a minimum. The absolute minimum, of course, is just tell yourself, okay, I've died. They have to get along without me. All those things in the world will have to keep going on without me. But that's okay. Because I've got the one thing in here that I'm really responsible for, and that's the state of my mind. I've got to get that in shape. And this is not a selfish thought. As I said, if you're more reliable inside, then you can be more reliable for other people too. But it has to start from within.